Hi, I'm Paul Kenny. Just a, a short video um, about uh, the importance of music um, and music education. It is extremely important. It goes hand in hand um, with um, other school subjects uh, like maths, English, sciences, uh, history, um, all the subjects like that. Um, except music actually involves all of those put together, <laughs> uh, the way it works. So uh, it's an extremely important, important thing to have in a child's life um, and in any adult. In, uh, in an adult's life as well. Um, I've been teaching for over 30 uh, years now, and i um, showing my age a little bit. <laughs> um, but uh, to, to the amount of students um, that I've had uh, come through my door into this teaching studio, of all ages, um, from the four or five year olds um, that um, are still like learning their alphabet and uh, counting and things like that, right through to um, I think the eldest, uh, the oldest um, student I've had um, was in there nearly 90, I think, from memory, um, who wanted to do it to, uh, to help with their, their arthritis in their hands, um, to, to learn how to play an instrument, something they've always wanted to do. Now that's fantastic, seeing something like that in um, an adult person um, of that age um, to, uh, to be looking at music and something that they've been longing to do for their entire life and they've got to that stage in life and they think wow I, I want to give that a go and, and do something that's um, beneficial and something to help them um, but um, with music and children it is something that is truly a wonderful thing um, it should be made part of every child's life um, in one way or another you know I'm a little bit partial to uh, the piano keyboard instrument as you can see behind me here um, but it really doesn't matter what instrument what instrument uh, music is a universal language and it can be taught from from the early ages of a child's development um, there are some music programs around that that um, children as young as two and three can um, start to learn rhythm and um, with tambourines and, and shakers and things and just listening to music and being involved with it um, right through to when they would probably officially start um, reading music, uh, music notation, uh, probably around the age of five, um, give or take, because every child is different. You have to um, shape and change your teaching techniques to suit each student. Everyone is different. It doesn't matter if it's a child or an adult, um, everyone learns at a different pace, everyone um, absorbs information differently and you have to change and adapt your teaching methods um, to fit in with the, with the student. I've got students that um, uh, would never ever look or would never listen to classical music for instance. So uh, I have to change my teaching method there and um, write out arrangements of um, easy to play arrangements of some of the songs they might like or some of the things they might hear on the on iTunes or something like that um, uh, and right through to other students which um, um, will only play uh, the classics um, or students will only play or like listening to jazz music and things like that. So you, you have to change um, your teaching method um, and adapt to the student. Adult students are totally different again. Um, they certainly know how to count their alphabet <laughs> reading and that. Um, so it, uh, it goes at a different pace. Most adults are interested in learning a chord method because they've got a keyboard or something like that. Um, so again, you have to change and adapt um, to each individual student. Um, and that's great. It's wonderful, it can be challenging. And um, <clears throat> it's good for the students because um, you're catering your teaching um, and the, the passing on of your knowledge uh, to them at their level and the pace that they can absorb that information. Um, and uh, it's a wonderful thing. As I said, music does so many things, particularly with children. It should be involved, every child should be involved in music some way or form or another. Private tuition is fantastic. Um, that's uh, what I do a lot of and one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, just me and the student um, here or over in my studio, recording studio area with all my keyboards and all that sort of stuff. Um, and um, yeah, we, do, we do all sorts of things from just the basic type of music tuition, learning how to play, reading notes and things to uh, theory, to taking that to the next step, the next level where students are composing music, um, they're being creative, they're, they're getting their ideas down not only on the keyboard but onto paper and that is a very, very important thing. Um, as I said earlier on, music uh, is a universal language and to think to think that you can grab a book or a piece of music, a piece of sheet music, and that was written 400 years ago. 
by um, a composer like Bach or Handel or someone, you know, or even Mozart, Beethoven, all the guys, and you are reading through time. You, you are literally being able to play the emotions and feeling and what, what the piece is about, if it's from an opera or from, a, from wherever. Um, but in 2017, hundreds of years later, we are still playing the same music written by a composer in another part of the world, another country. Um, and we can perform it exactly how they wrote it back then. It's like a, a bit of a time machine, really. It's like um, Alice in Wonderland jumping jumping in the rabbit hole and coming into this wonderful world that, that music music can uh, can give you um, and it's just absolutely amazing so uh, to think that there's that and I encourage students to, once they learn it the traditional way to put their own little spin on it sort of modernize it pull something that was written in the 16th 17th century um, 18th century bring it into 2017 they might change the rhythm a little bit they might add a few little notes or something a little bit different to make it theirs throw some seventh and ninth chords and stuff like that in so it's being um, creative once the students get to that level um, and being able to play and express from here and from here um, and then write their own music and, and start exploring the, uh, the rabbit hole, Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's uh, quite an adventure that uh, the child's going on simply by their parents saying, would you like some music lessons? Would you like to have some piano lessons? Um, it's a wonderful thing. I know personally with what I've done over the years with um, working in nursing homes, a music specialist, um, and seeing elderly people's face light up when you, when you play an old song that, that brings back memories and the, uh, the way music helps with dementia patients. I've seen people with uh, my music compositions that um, I've done and all the albums that I've produced around the, the place as well. Um, and just the joy that they sit back and listen to some relaxing music and, um, and what that does. Uh, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. Right through to uh, playing and performing and um, running orchestras as a conductor and musical director and choirs like I'm doing this afternoon. We have a performance um, with um, a choir that um, I'm the musical director of. Um, and it's just wonderful, a thing that, that is simply called music. It's as simple as that. So please people, make sure that your child or children are involved in music in some way. Some way. Get them involved. Um, it, is, um, it opens doors, it opens their way of thinking, um, their way they express themselves, and it is truly, truly a wonderful thing to be part of. Music. Make it part of your life. It's as easy as that. So I'm Paul Kenny. Thanks for uh, allowing me to present this little video and um, these last few minutes of your life that you've uh, sat back and listened to me chat on. <laughs> um, and uh, once again, may the rest of your life be the best of your life. I say this all the time to everyone. And make music part of your life, part of your child's life. Involve your family, your friends, everyone. Stand beside the piano while your child is practicing. Listen to them play. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you very much.